Hey everyone, JK here, and we are back with Farthest Frontier. Currently, we are upgrading our town center to tier 2. We are just waiting for resources here. Um, a current situation, we have food for 13 months, although uh, food will be spoiled in, over the next 12 months, so that's not good. Um, we also have 38 logs, 340 firewood, so I think we have enough firewood for now. Wood planks, stone. We still don't have clay and brick, so we'll probably do that once we have upgraded our town center. And then we have a lot of gold. We have 200, and we're getting 12 from our market. So that's where we are starting this episode. Uh, so we're just waiting for this to be finished. Uh, I wanted to explore the tier 2 uh, buildings that we will unlock. So we will have some healer's house here, so we can heal the sick, trading posts, school, festival posts, etc. What I would like to see more of, or what I would like to build first is probably the wagon shop, since uh, reading this one, a workshop where transport wagons are manufactured. Wagons can be used by villagers to efficiently transport goods. So I think this is a good one just to uh, improve the efficiency of our people um storehouse could also be used but oh sorry do we have anything that we can do for uh, to avoid spoilage the only thing i know is that we have a root cellar but i i think we already have one right this one is a stockyard i'm thinking of building a root another root cellar probably but as I, as far as I know, I already built one last episode. These are shelters. That's the market. Oh, where did I build? I think it's over here. Smokehouse. Oh, we have one root cellar here. It is... We still have a lot of capacity here. Although, I'm not sure why our food is getting... Or is spoiling over the next 10 months. So, there might be... A few more things we can do to avoid spoilage. Happiness is quite high. So that's good. We still have room for 15 more villagers. We don't have anyone who is sick or are bedridden. Report for the last 12 months. We are producing enough food. We are producing more protein, grain than what we consume. Although we have some deficit with vegetables and fruits here. So we'll definitely take a look at that once we are or once we have upgraded our town center to tier 2. So let's just fast forward a little bit. Winter is about to start. So a lot of the things that we might be doing could come to a halt. We are also losing uh, some food here. So our crops are rotting and are being eaten by animals. Last episode, we started to build this fence. But I'm not sure if it needs to go around it. Hopefully not, since it is against this road here. Uh, what is... Oh, so th our town center is now fully built. It's upgraded to tier 2. Uh, overall, happiness is 98. So, let's explore. Um... As I mentioned, I want a wagon shop. Do we have enough to produce this? We just need 30 planks. So we have planks, we have stone, and then we have lugs. Although we don't have much lugs there. But I think a wagon shop is really something that I want to prioritize. This is my industrial zone. So I think... Oop, how do I? I always forget how to rotate things. Is it tab? Yeah, that's tab. So let's put one here. So I really would like to finish the wagon shop just because since it's winter, people will be cold when they work farther. So I think having extra wagons is helpful just so they can do their, you can, they can deliver their um, things faster, the resources faster. What else do we need? So, taking a look at this, we have a granary. So, an above ground structure for storage of wheat and other grains. 
Okay, so I think this is also useful to avoid animals eating our food. A secure repository for towns. A vault is a place for us to store gold. So I don't think we need that at the moment. For food, we can already start producing flour using windmill, bakeries, arborists. So this one, it will work if they're building and maintain harvest fruits nearby. So I think this one's good. It's like a gathering foraging shack. So I think this is also good. Let's see. For resources, I think we can already do clay pits. So that's one thing we also want to do. Work camp. Work camps are used to continually harvest wood and stone. Laborers assigned to the camp will deposit materials at the work camp where a wagon can collect it. Haul it to the town with much more eff efficiently. So I think this is also a good one. Work camp and maybe a clay pit so we can start producing clay, uh, extracting clay. Sand pits. I think, do we have a clay pit available or clay resource? Uh, this one is a clay deposit, so I think we can build this one here. Must be placed on a clay pit. Isn't this a clay pit? Okay, that's good. Isn't this a clay pit? This is a deep clay deposit. Oh, so I can't place it there. Does that mean I uh, I can't I won't be able to extract clay there? Is there any other place? Not deer. There's sand there, so maybe we can use that. Oh, so that one is deep, so I I think we can't put it there, and but we can put it here on just the clay pit. So maybe we'll look into that in the future. Apiary, these are beehives, potters, weavers building. So these are for clothes. Candle shop. I think a candle shop is also necessary. I think if I saw this one correctly, it helps the happiness. I'm not sure. Soap, charcoal, and armory. Defenses. I don't think we need defenses. Uh, I'm not seeing any threats near us at the moment. So... I don't think it will be necessary. Decoration, so uh, we'll probably get into decoration since this increases the happiness of our citizens. So we'll take a look at that later. Uh, so the first thing that I think that I want is how's the wagons here? So the wagon shop is integrity is 99% we, we already have one here so in order to produce a wagon we need wooden planks so we need 20 wooden planks we're still producing a lot of firewood so maybe we can we are, we are only using one we only have one person here doing the firewood so I don't think we are doing too much there but we're producing so much so I'm not sure what we can do about that. Animals are continuously eating this one. So can we build a fence gate maybe here? And then extend the fence. I can't extend the fence. So I think this will be a, an issue for us in the future. I don't think we will be able to resolve this one. Next thing that we can take a look at is, hmm, I don't think we can do windmill since we, I don't think we are producing wheat. So maybe we'll uh, create a new farm producing wheat, focused on wheat, and then we can start doing the bakeries and stuff. So for now, what I think I want is have a crop field somewhere is here still okay it's 72 percent so i think it's still okay there so we'll do that and then once that's done 
We'll probably take a look at building a windmill and a bakery. Although I think we're already producing so much food that we might not need that one urgently. And then we'll also start our workers camp. So we could probably put it there. And then let's just build a road straight ahead like this. Um, we are at 3 speed now. We are producing so much. We have a lot of wood, firewood, and wooden planks. We also have some stone reserves. So I think the only thing we need here is just the people to start working on this. And then we can stock some of the goods for future. So the thing that I'm noticing here is that we are almost close to our population limit. So I'm not sure what the difference between a temporary shelter. So a temporary shelter can be stocked with food and supplies along allowing workers that are far from their residence to work longer before returning home. Oh, so this one is or should be placed near workplaces. I think that is the main idea of the temporary shelter. Uh, I think that that means that it is not usually it should not be usually affected by the industries although I'm not sure with that so we'll definitely see after we've built that and then we can also start expanding here so we want more homes so what I'm thinking is just adding three more. So that should at least give us some space for more people to come in. Okay, so what's happening here? Crops are getting eaten by animals. Um, can we can we start? Uh, killing these animals. Where is my hunter's cabin? Okay, we have one. We can only actually we can only put one there. So hopefully we can eliminate the deers here. Since I'm not liking that animals are eating our food or our crops here. Um, and then I also created a another farm on that side. But that's because we have the better land on this area. So that's why building here is better than what I th than at the other places. Yeah, so should be good. We've now built a couple more houses. We have capacity of 60. Now we can keep expanding this place. Maybe let's do a diagonal road here instead of just doing straight ones. And then we can continue putting more homes. Though I wouldn't like to put uh, anything too far since um, the market only has a specific range. So I think it's best if we only put homes that are... Not as far. Although I'm having some issues here. So we're putting two more there. Crops lost due to heat stress. So I don't like that's happening. But it's summer so we can't do anything about it. Now as I've mentioned, I want to have some sort of uh, crop field that is focused more on wheat. I think wheat production is something that we have to focus on. Although this will be done in the second and the third year. So I think that is also a good idea to do. Now once this is once we start producing wheat, we will start also start building the windmill and our granner our bakery. We are losing a lot of crops due to heat. So that is not very good. In the future, we might need to start uh, putting more varied crops. There are crops that are, if you take a look at this one, there are crops with 
high heat tolerance like this flax or what else anything else or this uh, beans it's it has high heat tolerance so that's good for summers we'll definitely take a look at that in the future this one is, is an excavation site we can't excavate this one right now but not sure why this happening uh, why we can't extract this this one we don't have farms here uh, we don't I forgot to add crops here so what I'm thinking is this is probably the same as the timeline that we have here so maybe during the first half we want crops with high heat tolerance so maybe we can do something like this and then on the last part we might want crops with frost tolerance although we we can't fit anything there uh beans no i don't think I would like to have a lot of beans so can I just can I remove this one uh, how do I remove this uh, this one okay and then let's add maybe a piece and then can we add beans no I don't think we can add more so let's just have it plowed and then let's add a clover again and then add more peas I don't, I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, can we do two piece? No. You know what? Let's just leave this one like that. I think I don't think we have any space for additional crops to be planted there. I love the music in this game. It's so relaxing. <laughs> Although it sounds a little sadder. But it's just like, you know, stopping, watching the people move and listening to the music. You can see here our farmers are plowing the land. Although this <laughs> this other farm is still not growing crops. We lost I think we lost our carrots. Now we have our we're losing uh stored food, so I think we need to expand on our food. Um what other options do we have so we have a an arborist here now i think this will be needed to be put near fruit trees now what i i'm not sure is what are fruit trees here since most of the crops that i'm seeing are just bushes so is this a tree maple trees i'm not sure if this uh if the arborist should be put near these trees. Birch trees. These are birch trees and maple trees. Uh, any other type of tree here that we can harvest harvest fruits from? I'm not so sure. We have a stone deposit here, so that's good. Uh, thicket. Oh, wait, where's the ticket one? Ticket, ticket. This one? Oh, this is a pine tree. Dead pine trees. I don't know which type of tree we need to look at in order for us to get fruit from there, but I'll have to take a look at that. Although we are still getting food for the next 10 months. I think we're good on that. I think... Um, we only had uh, some issues here when we are yet to harvest or when we are yet to kill or hunt deers. So I think we're good on that for now. Forager shack. This one we are foraging here. So I don't think we need to forage there anymore since we don't have any resources available there. Let's put it, you know what, let's put it above. And then what I also want is to start my clay pit somewhere did I find that one clay pit clay pit that's a bird's nest oh there's more deers there so that's good we have we'll have more uh, more things to hunt in the future I'm just trying to find where I saw that clay deposit 
so we can start building our clay is it this one no the sand deposit the other side is it this one stone oh this one okay so we will put a clay deposit here there's a raider camp nearby we're not seeing it so let's just let's just put it that there first then we'll start building extending our roads down we can do something like this and then since there's a notification that raiders are close by we can probably put a look at look out tower although that costs five gold we have a lot we're getting 17 but i don't know if that is i don't know if that's something that i want to prioritize a look at our defense the surrounding area against hostile threats it must be manned by guards who do extra damage when attacking from this high vantage point does this mean that i can put this one without training soldiers you know what uh, let's just put one here so this is quite far from the town center and there was a notification here that a raider settlement is near so maybe that should be that would be an essential building to protect our people there we're slowly growing as our population um, we only have six months of food stored and I don't I, I don't know if that's good enough it's almost winter and we are definitely going to need more food than just six months there are no trees what's this a work camp so we can just do that right does that mean that they will work here then this one we don't have fish so i think our smoker is idle he's doing inventory oh uh, uh, ooh. I found the, uh, the raider site. Uh, should I clear this one already? We have one, two, three. We don't have uh, people who can fight yet, but that oh, but that could be um, an option. That is also an option that we have since we have extra money. We have four hundred eighty-two, and I believe building the barrack site needs to just two hundred fifty gold. This could be one of our priorities, though I'm not so sure about it. The healer's house is also not an option since we're only getting 17 gold every month. And creating this one puts us above what we are earning. So that's not part of anything that is our priority. Graveyards. Hmm. You know what let's start looking at some options that we have we definitely don't need housing this will be built maybe at the end of the second year so that's not a priority at, at the moment candle shop i think I'm expanding more here but as i've mentioned in the next year we will build our windmill and um our bakery so I don't think that is needed as much as I think it is but you know what? let's go for a barracks uh, does this have a negative effect on things I don't think it has so let's just build a barracks site here this is like showing showing some dominance over the brawlers area since this will be facing our military will be trained near here and they are here so we can once we build we build a military army um we can clear this uh, settlement out to avoid any issues in the future savage side this is quite far and we don't want people to go far from home when it's winter let's also build another well i always forgot that i always forget that wells are essential to be built almost everywhere in this 
game. Very low water bonuses. It is around 62%. But that should work uh, as needed. We also have a deep sand deposit here. I'm not sure how to extract this. As well as the deep clay deposit. Um, we'll figure that one out in the future. Ooh, we have a boar here. I think boars are... They can attack people, right? Boars are territorial animals that pose a danger to their villagers that wander too close. So we don't want our villagers to wander too close here. Although, I'll probably, just to um, plan ahead, I'll probably add a hunter's cabin here. Since they are getting closer and closer and we don't want them to uh, hurt any one of our people. I think this is good. We're making some progress. Although our food situation is not looking good. We only have 5 months of food available. Hopefully we can do something about it now. We are tending the field. So this year we will be producing our first wheat harvest. So I think... Oops, wait. Once... Uh, where is oh this is not yet built so once that, that once that is built I want them to start hunting the boar but for now I think we can also focus on building our um, expanding our food production now this will these buildings as far as I know if I read that correctly is that these buildings the windmill should start um, should uh, get us to be able to produce wheat and then once we have the wheat we can start baking them into bread so I think that is a really good amenity for the people since you know games like this they want people want um, variety of food so yeah I think that is an excellent option for our people to eat. Now, rallying the troops. So, by pressing the flag combat around the UI bar the barracks UI, you can quickly send all your soldiers to defend an area. Soldiers will remain there until the rally point has been moved or they are sent back by the barracks. Uh, to the barracks, basically. Okay. The only thing I'm thinking here is that how do I... Oh, so I can recruit. Okay. So, oh. There's a recruitment cost and a monthly cost of maintaining an army. I thought it will be free. <laughs> Since when I read, I built the building, it just says it needs 250 gold. But then we will need to maintain our soldiers with a monthly cost. So I don't think it's a good idea to build or to start training people now. But in the future, we will definitely look to build our army and clear this raider's camp. Although, uh, reading that, we could probably recruit just two archers or one archer and one infantry. But I don't think that is uh, that will help us a lot since that's just two people. And I, I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five raiders there. So I'm not sure. We'll see in the future what will happen what we can do here we already have one here who is standing guard in this area hopefully that's enough protection from the raiders uh, I'm not so sure but we'll probably start building around our this will be our military camp uh, but yeah that's that's the plan right we'll start building our military here and I'm guessing I'm thinking that this is also a good place to do this because it is near our residential area that means that the residents should you know feel mo much more safer since we have some protection here and our soldiers will be in our barracks there right so I I'm not I'm, I'm just not sure what this area means does this mean that if I hire 
a or if I train an archer, she will stay inside and then anything that comes near this circle uh, they can attack by this much so I'm not sure um, it doesn't say but looking at that I think we want Oop, no 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 can I cancel that that's clear uh, I don't want any clearing here can I cancel that no I just want things to be cleared on this area oh they're they're already going here hopefully i don't okay so the clear side the clear task that i put uh, did not go through so that's good i just want them to start harvesting resources although i don't want them to get close here can we prioritize building the hunter's cabin here we have very little food I think we'll end the episode once we built the hunter's cabin and start clearing the boars here. I don't want anyone getting hurt from the boars or any boar attacks. So hopefully we can finish this one as soon as possible. We have a ton of work laborers working on this plot of land. So this, this is good. Very good although... That means that we have a lot of people who doesn't really do much for the village and they're just, you know, extra mouths to feed. <laughs> uh, let's do, let's start hunting here. Do we have, already have one? Okay. I just want to see how this will, seeking weapons, he's getting weapons from where? Where are you getting your weapons? Okay. Why are you restocking, Bethany? I need you to start hunting. Uh, is, she's she's going here, so hopefully she can. I just want to see how the battle looks. How she's going to attack those boars. Hey, can you kill that one? Let's see. I just want to see, honestly. So let's see. Oh no, it's stalking her. No. Oh, oh, sh oh, shoot. She died. No way. The boar was almost dead, bro. No. We lost her. No. Can you attack that? Kill that one? Okay. Oh no. I. One of my villagers died. I don't like that. She died of a boar attack. And it's my fault. Oh my goodness. Um. I can probably start building a grave. I don't like that that's happened, but and that's my fault. But, but let's just build a grave around here. This should have her. We should just have her buried. Can we also prioritize getting the meat of um the meat of the boar that died? them i don't like what that, that happened um i also keep mentioning that i don't want any of my villagers to be hurt or get attacked by the boar and then i just i order her to attack that boar <laughs> yeah so that's our first village death um we are also still low on food we'll figure that one out in the next episode um, but for now, we will end here. Um, this is the end of episode 2. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, episode 3. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.